Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. I have got um, seven fantastic points to tell you about today. My vlog it, today is going to be the latest travel news worldwide part two according to breaking travel news dot com uh, where i get the information and um so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please uh, press the red subscribe button red and white and also click the notification bell as well because i upload at at least three times a week but this week I'm uploading five times um, this week um, because I, I'm not at work at Morrison's as much this week compared to other weeks so I get to enjoy uh, spending more time with you guys which um, is absolutely fantastic at viewers and subscribers so let's jump right into it now the first point is dubai is to reopen events sector as tourists return to the country the arab emirates um so dubai is the capital of the united arab emirates and the reopening event sector so yay that's a brilliant news again uh, for the tourism industry and the country the government of dubai has said that, uh, that the city can once again host live events wow however a rigorous set of social distance guidelines will be in place to continue the fight against covid 19 so that's excellent news and again if you are traveling to dubai and seeing an event then again you will have to abide by the social distance uh, guidelines but even so you can do, you can do it which is a brilliant thing so yay and i really hope um, the united arab emirates and any any other country in the world that is um trying to get the tourism industry up and running again um i wish them the best of luck with the events and reopening in general to the public now at number two is it PATA calls for greater cooperation in the COVID-19 recovery. The Pacific Asia Travel Association is calling upon all industry stakeholders from both the public and the private sector to work more closely together um, towards the re recovery of the travel and tourism industry so again that again is excellent news um really um it's uh, again so the public and private sector can get back up and running again um so more just say industries etc businesses um don't um basically go bankrupt or sink just say into something like administration so by working closer together um it's going to be better um fingers crossed anyway and <laughs> um, number three pavilion 
hotels signs new property in the philippines that is fantastic news well done um for again the philippines and pavilion hotels i really hope um it goes as well as possible uh, like every other place in the world and also Accor reopened hotels as the COVID-19 peak passes so well done to Accor um, hotels so they're getting back up and running again and fingers crossed it'll go uh, perfectly well and safe for them as well as uh, customers and staff now number five is uniworld add no flight options to france uh, france cruise portfolio so Um, they've decided to add uh, no flight options to France cruise portfolio um, uh, but um, hopefully in time they will add flight options to the France cru uh, cruise portfolio in the future um number six is um madeira island um makes a claim to be the safest destination in europe it's a portuguese island and ag again it's making a claim to be the safest destination in Europe so um, again I hope if people do want to travel to the island which it does look very nice and beautiful because it does look very nice and green um, on photos um, and if people do want to travel somewhere at that that they claim to be the safest destination then again um, it, it could be an option for people um, out there that want to travel abroad so fingers crossed um, it goes um, as well as possible and uh, number seven which is last but not least is united airlines plot a steady return in flying wow that's excellent news so united airlines look like they're slowly uh, getting back into business and they're probably putting some flights to some places in the world back on um, but are probably not operating fully yet um, but it is great to see that they are steadily returning yay and I really hope the return goes as safely as possible for staff and customers so thank you for watching everybody the next travel video is going to be tomorrow and it's going to be the latest travel news part three so please keep watching for that i love you all you all mean the world to me subscribers and viewers and bye for now thank you bye